Hello, my name is Ben Vermaarke, and together with my supervisor, Professor Hans Obdebeek, I investigate high-level vision in rodents, using behavioral paradigms. We would like to give a short introduction to our paper entitled A Multivariate Approach Reveals the Behavioral Templates Underlying Visual Discrimination in Rats. We have extended a behavioral paradigm that is typically used to obtain detailed knowledge about visual cognition in humans and monkeys to the field of rodent testing. This forms a significant improvement as rodents offer multiple advantages compared to primates to understand the neurobiological underpinnings of vision. The Bubbles paradigm was previously developed by Schins and colleagues. The subject has to recognize a simple stimulus among one or more other stimuli. Every trial, only part of the stimulus is shown, resulting in chance performance, when too little useful information is presented. By relating information shown to performance, we can construct a map that indicates the informative areas of the stimulus. We call this map a behavioral template. In this picture, such an informative area is indicated by the red contour. Humans and monkeys were compared in previous studies using this paradigm. Researchers noticed that monkeys generally use only a portion of the available information. Here this is indicated by the smaller red contour. Monkeys are as good and as efficient as humans with stimuli for which they are trained. This is illustrated here by the blue and red bar of equal height. Nevertheless, monkeys need more time to build up invariance for an image transformation such as rotation. Here this is indicated by the lower performance for rotated images. In our paper, we now extend this paradigm to rats, animals that are used a lot in biological science, but rarely in the context of visual cognition. We trained rats in a square versus triangle discrimination task to earn water rewards. The same bubble mask is applied to both stimuli per trial. Stimuli can be in different positions. When the animal responds correctly, the mask is added to both correct and all planes. A mask from an incorrect trial is added only to the all plane. After many of these trials, we can construct behavioral templates by comparing the summed bubble masks associated with correct performance with the summed bubble masks of all trials. Here, we show the results for phase 1, where stimuli were presented full screen at a fixed position. The average template shows two spots near the bottom corners of the square. This shows that rats use only a part of the available information. We also investigated the subset of trials where the general template would not work because the bottom part of the shapes was covered with bubbles. We found a significant conditional template showing the use of the upper part of the stimulus. Thus, the rats have a relatively flexible and context-dependent strategy to solve the task. We then required the animals to achieve invariance for changes in position of the stimuli. Thus, they had to pick out the correct shape independently of where it was shown on the screen. Rats needed a lot of training to learn the initial discrimination and subsequent invariance to position changes. These templates indicate that rats are able to apply a fixed template even when stimuli are shifted. Overall, our results show that rats can be investigated with this complex visual paradigm. These animals are able to use relatively complex strategies. Nevertheless, their efficiency in discrimination is much lower than found previously for humans and monkeys. However, rats are comparable to monkeys in terms of the amount of information they extract from the stimuli. Furthermore, like monkeys, rats also need training to acquire invariance.